putting their resumes out there today while school districts are cutting back and laying off. Local districts, including the Austin ISD, showed up to a teacher job fair in downtown Austin today, even though they're still trying to find a spot for more than 800 of their own employees. KXAN's Aaron Cargill has our top story at 5. More than 500 people, mostly college teaching majors, filled the Frank Irwin Center Tuesday morning on the hunt for a job. Right here's a starting salary, and here's all our tax scores. Okay. The lucky ones scored an afternoon interview. We got called back for one interview with the school in Nebraska. It might seem too far for some, but Mindy Bloxell and her husband Casey live in Kansas where they're wrapping up their student teaching. They made the 10-hour drive to Austin and tried to stay positive despite negative outlooks for teacher openings with massive cuts proposed for public education. I have faith. It's education. We always need to educate our children. They found a lot of the 73 school districts that showed up didn't have immediate openings, but encouraged them to keep checking back. Austin ISD had five recruiters on hand while still trying to find spots for their own people whose positions were cut. But we do anticipate some openings after we've been able to help uh, secure positions for our current teachers. Lake Travis ISD talked to applicants as well. They don't anticipate any layoffs, but are on a hiring freeze. Amid the uncertainty here at the, at the Capitol, uh, we, we feel it's important to network and to build those relationships that hopefully one day will we'll land in jobs for, for these would-be teachers. Several South Texas districts near the border were hiring on the spot for bilingual math and science teachers. The best advice for those trying to land a job in a field that's getting much more competitive. Try to expand those opportunities or expand their marketability as much as they can and be patient. In downtown Austin, Aaron Cargile, KX.